Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 4 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to start the kitchen. Now we're going to continue working on this. Uh, what I want to do is to just hide this too. We can even use the scope box or section box if we want to. Um, you could use that under properties, check this box, and then click apply. And then after that, you'll be able to pull this one out. And once you do that, you can see that it is basically hiding whatever's uh, you uncheck there so now everything is like that if you want to make it back you just need to uncheck that and it will go back so for now let's use the section box in order for us to do this one properly uh, another way is for us to just hide this wall but for now I think it's better to just use this so now that we're seeing this what I want to do is probably maybe push this back a little bit more or maybe we could just add a void on that so we're probably gonna deal with that later on but for now what I want to add here is we could add in the cabinets so we already have our backsplash and we could go to our section one and add in our cabinets so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on here click model in place or we could just use this so we could select the ones that we created here so for example I'm gonna start off with the top cabinet edit in place click on extrusion pick a plane which is this one once you select that we could use rectangle and then offset this one to 10 here we offset this to 10 but we want it from the inside so just click on spacebar and then select that on the corner after a while I want to add the cabinets right here in the middle so this is a perfect spot and then another one right about here but let's not let's remove the offset right here we could use this and then offset that so that's much better and then here we just need to divide this one properly so I'm thinking just maybe maybe three is enough and then I'm just eyeballing this for now and move this one this is around 600 630 so let's make this one 630 and then 630 here 633 and then 630 so that's good enough for me it's almost even out so here I'm gonna mirror this in between here and then now we just need to click here and add a, a 10 offset so I'm gonna place it on the outside 
and then what we'll need to do is SL that split element and then here we need to split the ones right here and then the ones below as well TR trim and extend Okay, and then at the top as well, trim and extend. And then here, I'm just going to have an extrusion of 10. And... I remember the top is we put it as Douglas fir so I'm gonna use the same finish and then click finish and then finish let's look at it at 3d I'm not yet done with this I want to edit it more the reason for that is I want to have a modern look so I'm gonna select that and edit uh, no not edit extrusion but instead go to create and then we're going to void sweep after that pick path what we're gonna do is we're going to create an offset so I'm thinking of probably 40 so here I'm gonna select I'm gonna select the path So I'm going to select this path so instead of here I'm going to pick path and then 3D instead because that one is a lot harder t if you think about that and then after that click finish click the sweep and then edit profile and then from here we're gonna create a void from the inside right here For me, I want it to be, so we could start off, let's align it here so that we could know so we select this, I will need just five millimeters and then from here I want it to be I want to move it
or instead of this one I think um, I think I could do this much faster if I did so I'm gonna redo it click here edit in place select all of this and then I'm gonna create a void extrusion instead uh, go to your section it will be much better and then from here we're going to rectangle and then we're going to use an offset I think an offset of 40 the, I don't know if it's going to work but we're going to try so we need to set first so I'm gonna pick a plane I'm gonna choose this plane now we can basically set it off now those are the stuff that I missed but it's good because um, I don't want to do it um, manually I want to do it in one shot so at least this one is a good thing because we could do it fast I am I'm just looking at this one if this will be the best distance I could do probably 100 as well and then here negative 5 apply and then finish and then cut geometry and then click finish I wanna see if it work I want to see it in 3D because it's not cutting so basically it cut but we just need to change the the start so at least put 5 here so that it's basically cutting okay so now uh, look at this it looks much better it looks modern we can even change whatever we have here if we want to we're gonna do the same thing here in front so on the base so we could go to section again and then we could select this one edit in place and then here select void extrusion pick path this is a very important we have to choose which one and then that's what we choose the front of this now we need to do a rectangle but we need actually there's delete that we need to create the front first so we're going to create that for now so pick pick a uh, pick the face and then here we're gonna put 10 select this and then add an offset of 10 and then select it from this corner spacebar to change orientation and then to this corner and then click 
before you click finish change the material I believe this one was ash so I'm gonna choose ash and then that's for the door or the drawers so once we have that we can now do the void extrusion pick path and then we're going to choose the cabinet door but again I forgot to provide separation here let me edit this first and redo that I'm going to get this one first and then mirror this in between here and then here we could have a drawer and then some pantry I can have this one as a pantry or it's some sauce um, we can put some sauce there here we could put 500 and then here 500 as well and then we could have drawers right here and then drawer again here and then drawers here as well and then let's use align to align them and then now click on pick lines and then offset this one to 10 and then we're here to do this task which is we still have to do anyway so now SL to split element we need to add separation so that we could trim it properly so now we could go at the top first and then we're gonna deal with it later on for the others so maybe I could add more variation by adding two drawers okay so we're just going to add that and then I'm still thinking where I'm gonna add the two drawers okay so I'm probably going to add it right here just to have a difference I'm gonna put it in the middle like so and then put 10 and then SL again to split it up and then after that we need to type in TR that's trim and extend and we have a task of doing this now and then let's focus at the top So now 
for just adding this then trim this again and then now whatever is below And then now I'm just gonna click finish and then finish so we're gonna stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below